Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about BTS's new album Proof that's coming out June 10th and oh my god I couldn't be more excited so I will get into all the album details that we got I will be doing a size comparison for both the standard and compact version I will be going over pre-order benefits and maybe some tracks that they will include in the album but yeah let me just get into it i hope i don't make this video too long but i'm so excited been waiting for another bts album in a little bit now so i don't know it's just very exciting to be able to set up for them again and also this comeback is going to be so special with this anthology album showing you know all their works for the past nine years which is insane to say and also get three new tracks which uh we love to see all right so let me start with this standard version which uh has a lot included and also she looks so good oh my god i love the design of this also on the compact version you can see it better but it's a little bit of foil and you can see all the colors of the past albums in it and it's really really cool but yeah oh my god it's gonna look so good but it has an outer sleeve and an outer box which uh, <laughs> are really big so the outer sleeve looks uh, like plastic and it has the logo on it the proof logo on it and then the outer box is black but I will show you right now what uh, it will look like compared to the one concept book and the school love affair special edition so for this standard version, in terms of height and width, it's going to be pretty much the same size as this Cool Love Affair Special Edition album. Uh, I think it's actually like a little bit shorter, but this is the kind of size that we're looking for, uh, for like the height and everything, which I'm happy it's not as tall as Map of the Soul 7 because uh, my poor shells. However, in terms of thickness, uh, it's going to be like the Map of the Soul 1 like concept photo book, like the set. Uh, of both photo books so yeah that's what uh we're looking at in terms of thickness people have always also said that it is a, just a little bit smaller than 2020 season's greetings but i don't have that on hand so i couldn't show that but yeah she's going to be uh she's going to be big all right so as you can see this is the outer box and how it opens up and then we have a first photo book which is uh pretty big 132 pages and then we have a second photo we have three photo books which are all pretty big this is 80 pages and this is 104 pages so it's going to be huge and i hope that they get to show some unreleased pictures from their previous concepts or something like that i think that would be really really cool but we will see what they end up doing right and then we will have a lyric book which is 44 pages everyone is tabling that this anthology album will have between 40 to 50 tracks which is going to be insane uh we have the three cds here we go the cd plate and then we have a first photo card set so i'm so happy they included a photo card set because i was like oh no if they don't have a photo card set i'm gonna have to collect 027 for this because this era is going to be so special right so i'm really happy that they went the b route but that they actually have selfie photo cards and not uh, the couch photo cards. The couch photo cards are still <laughs> iconic, I think, but they were pretty controversial, let's say. <laughs> but then we do have one random photo card, which is black and white, so that's interesting. And then we're going to have one random postcard, and both of these are random one out of eight, so there will be a group card and a group photo card. And then we have one poster, which these posters are always huge and I never know what to do with them. But anyways, moving on to the compact edition. As you can see, this is what I was saying about the colors. And someone pointed out that it was, yeah, the colors of all of their past albums like mixed together. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. This also has this really cool discography guide, which I'll get into in a minute. But I really love that. All right. So this is much smaller, hence uh, the compact <laughs> statement but I will show you a comparison right now uh, with Butter and Love Yourself Answer. 
So for the compact version, in terms of sizing, in terms of height and width, it's going to be pretty much uh, the butter size. I think maybe like a couple centimeters off. But this is the kind of size square packaging that we're looking at. In terms of width though, it's going to be more along the lines of the Love Yourself Answer album, right? Uh, it's not super thick and it's going to be square. So yeah, it's going to be something... Uh, <laughs> something like this maybe but yeah so this is gonna be really cute I think and especially with the holo and everything I'm like oh no <laughs> these are gonna go so well together then uh, we have the booklet which is pretty small but uh it's still like 80 pages so I'm happy because it is a smaller version and a way more affordable version but it's also not a jewel case because I don't like jewel cases <laughs> so I'm happy that's an actual photo book and everything right so that's really cool that they did that and then we have uh the cds love the design i don't know like the design is just so good right and then we have one random photo card out of seven so no group photo card in this one and then we have a random postcard out of eight in this case as well so you know here we go and then so i assume that there'll be a group postcard as well and then we have a mini poster and the discography guide i thought that this was going to be like the butter message card size so i got really excited about it to like cut it up and put it in my binder but it's actually uh pretty big it's uh bigger than a mini photo card actually but i think it's such a good idea and i don't know it makes me really emotional to see all of the eras put together like this and even during the trailer like it was everything to me when they showed like all the eras and I'm like oh no <laughs> they've done so much in nine years it's absolutely insane so they have announced some pre-order benefits already I do think that these will be the only pre-order benefits because they don't tend to do you know 20 rounds of pre-order benefits so most of these pre-order benefits you can only get if you buy the standard version or if you buy a set of the standard version with the compact version so with with us global you get one random photo card out of seven and an acrylic photo frame if you buy the standard version and if you buy a set you get an extra special gift that they haven't revealed i don't think it will be a random photo card because i think that they would have said already that it was a random photo card but i think that maybe it will be like a group photo or a group postcard or something like that and then for uh, the Japanese fan club, <laughs> they get a holo photo card, one random out of seven if they get the standard edition. And then if they get a set, they get also a group sticker and they get a serial number that allows them to watch a video message from BTS, which I think is really cool. And then UMS, they get uh, one random sticker out of seven if they buy the center version. And then if they buy the set, they get one group postcard and once again, the serial number. Sometimes the stickers are photo card sized, so I will wait and see uh, what it looks like. But I'm, I am intrigued and interested in them. And then they have nationwide CD shop in Japan still. And if they buy a standard version, they, go, they get one group sticker and... The way they announce the Japanese pre-order benefits, they have like pattern A, pattern B, and pattern C. So I feel like those are going to be like three different concepts that we're going to get in photo cards. And uh, as you could see as well in the previews, you can see that, you know, between the set and the two random photo cards that you get in the standard and compact version, that there are like three different kind of concepts. So I am very interested in seeing what it will all look like. I'm very, very excited. And then if you order from Aladdin, uh, I think they only have the standard version or the set. Uh, you get a PVC card holder. And yes, 24, you get a photocard binder, uh, which those two shops really understand what people want. <laughs> so it didn't make me giggle, but I was really, really excited to see that. I was like, oh, I like that there's like a diversity of pre-order benefits. But yeah, so let me just get into this setup right now. But as I said, just so excited about everything. All right, so let me uh, get to my binder and oh my god, I haven't set up for BTS in so long. 
Uh, oh my god, this is Japanese PCs. Okay, so this was butter and this is the start of Japanese photo cards. So this is what proof is going to be. So I will need two pocket pages for now. Here we go. And I already have made my templates, which I usually just write them out in the video, but just to save a little bit of time today. But I use these white dragon shield sleeves and I am running out so badly with all these comebacks and just uh, some pink post-it notes. But yeah, so let me just do this. So the first page is going to be the set of photo cards from the standard album so there's going to be seven photo cards just going to do seven pattern with all the members and that's going to make me so happy to have an 87 set like that and then going into the random photo cards so i'm just going to do an, a six pattern for now but i think that this will change for sure but okay so the first one is the standard album version random photo card which is one out of eight and then the compact version one out of seven also <laughs> i realized i didn't say this throughout this whole video but hi i bias namjoon he's my old bias in all of k-pop uh no one will come close to him <laughs> in my heart but i feel like it was pretty obvious from the <laughs> binder but i just realized i didn't say anything and i'm like oh my god uh okay so then we have weaver's global Pre-order benefit random out of seven and i have ordered from weaver's global but shipping is so expensive so i don't know if i'm gonna keep that pre-order or just go install the day of and then just kind of buy the Weaver's Pre-order Benefit afterwards, but I don't know, because I kind of want to have, I don't know, <laughs> everything uh, as soon as possible. Then we will have the Holo Japan Fan Club PC. Hopefully that won't be too expensive, you know, uh, <laughs> after B Deluxe Edition, uh, what you think about. Then I have two templates that I made that are kind of haven't been announced yet but first of all we have the hype insight lucky draw which that one I am sure will happen because they did one for butter and then for in hypen and txt they've done a new one for like every album since you know hype insight has been a thing so I just fully assume that they'll have one and it will have like the really cool like high bin side back. I still need to get the one from Butter, but we don't talk about that. <laughs> and then uh, I assume that they'll do lucky draws. They haven't announced anything yet. Even TXT hasn't hasn't announced lucky draws yet, which I'm just like, hmm. But I mean, I'm just putting it here for now, fully assuming because listen, we had. <laughs> eight lucky draws for B, which I don't think they will do eight lucky draws, but then they did three for butter. So I think they'll do a number between three and eight, maybe a six. I don't know, maybe a three, maybe a three. I pray for a three because then, uh, I don't know, I think it will <laughs> feel out nice. But this is it for the setup. Please let me know in the comments what tracks you think they'll have in the album. Everyone has really been pointing out that it's an anthology album and not a compilation album. So there'll probably be unreleased versions of tracks and maybe demos and the remixes that they use in concerts and on tours. Begging for Dionysus, Trap Remix, please. All of the idol remixes that they do that are locked up in the vault, please release it. The Fake Love demo, please release it. <laughs> Also, I told my friend this and then I saw a couple other people tweet it, but we know that there's a Snoop Dogg collab and I think that everyone is kind of speculating that he might be on a remake of Hip Hop Lover, which is one of the most important songs. I mean, I know I'm biased because I love that song so much, but it is one of the most important songs where they pay homage to the culture and the artists that have inspired them and made their sound you know and 
giving tribute and credit to all these artists and Snoop Dogg is mentioned so you know I think that from the get-go I was really excited for that collab because that man is can do like any genre and he'll do a collab and it's just like why Snoop Dogg on this but it's always amazing but I think that it just really makes sense for this album and even if it's not for like the remake version or anything and just like the new track I'm like Oh no, I'm really really excited for that too and I wanted to say it but yes, I think that's it but thank you so much for watching I'm so excited for everything else that's gonna come from this comeback I hope that you enjoy comeback season and I'll see you soon with the unboxing Bye!